Let's check out the data file. Welcome to today's data file. Today we are talking about smart thermostats. Smart thermostats are a new trend. They allow you to control your heating on the go from your phone, your tablet, or any other device. It's all in line with the up and coming smart home market where you have everything from ring doorbells, locking systems, alarm systems, cameras, robotic vacuums, air quality control, speaker systems, temperature control, all to name but a few. Essentially, these are all home management devices that can be controlled from our smartphones. Well, smart thermostats are big business. It is projected that the market for just these thermostats will be jumping from 2.2 billion in 2020 to a massive 25 billion marketplace by 2030. That's just eight years from now. Now, if we look at any advert for one of these funky dunky thermostats, you will find that one of the biggest selling points for this tech is that they're a great way to save some cash because of the money they save you on your heating bills, mostly because of the flexibility of control, whether you're at home or not. The thing is, they're not cheap to buy and install. So whether one will actually save you money in the long run depends on how you use it and what type of home you have. Well, this is where this study and the data the authors collected comes in. In their academic paper called Smart Tech Dumb Humans, The Perils of Scaling Household Technologies, the authors studied nearly 1,400 households. When they analyzed real-world usage of the smart thermostats, they found that although users initially programmed the devices wisely from an energy-saving mentality, they ended up overriding the settings on a daily basis. What this meant is that these smart thermostat homes actually ended up using just as much energy as similar households with analog thermostats. I find this fascinating from a business angle. As businesses, we make and design products that solve a problem that people want to solve. In this case, making savings on energy consumption. But our customers are human. These humans with their ingrained habits and behaviors get into the way of what we thought our products would be useful for. And they end up using them as they see fit, to be frank. If I was a smart thermostat company, knowing this data and that our products are not being able to deliver on the one main promise that we've been offering to the buying customer, I'd perhaps start working on finding some other selling points to preempt the customer distrust that might creep in and start emphasizing those newer features. Just a thought. See you in the next one.